it like like rise up like whenever I'm like wearing it like this it's like shoot <laughs> and then like and then like, these come up here and there's like it's just like are you doing like a before yeah this is oh, the before I see, I see. and then I'm gonna chop these off yeah. and make it tighter I see because then I won't have to wear a bra with it oh you're making it a jumpsuit right yeah and then I'm gonna top hair yeah. <laughs> make it pants nice and then I'm gonna take these off and reattach them that would be lower so that way which I'm hoping it won't make it too tight but it's elastic so I feel like it should be okay we'll see it was a hand-me-down so I didn't pay a thing for it and then if I don't want it to be pants anymore so I'm going to make them like gaucho-y so they're like, it's a low crotch maybe. Uh -huh. At first, what do you think? What if I did the crotch like here? Like make it like parachute pants? Like, oh, what if I made like parachute pants and did like here? And <laughs> <laughs> sea hammer. And sea hammers. <laughs> you could bring that back, right? Bring them back. But yeah, and then if I didn't like it, then I could either make them full pants. Yeah. Or I could make them a dress. Yeah. This is always the part of the process I hate because I'm like, I don't want to wreck it. Do it. I know, I'm like, but I'm going to mess it up because I'm not that skilled yet. I don't want to wreck it, but I'm going to do it. Do it. if I cut around the elastic here mm -hmm. I can make it like like a high neck a like a, a square cowl neck oh. kind of with like a tank top like kind of be like one of those almost halter tops mm -hmm. but because of the back would match but I kind of wanted to make it strapless because like summertime mm -hmm. but I don't know if I'm having enough material on the top to stretch that far because mm -hmm. Because of how like the back, you see yeah. how that cuts in. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I might not go all the way. Yeah, I might not like go all the way out like that. But mm -hmm. also, if I just like cut this mm -hmm. and made this like a full square, like left a little here, it'd be fine. Mm -hmm. And then I could take it in down here to hold it up. Hmm. I wish it was just my size. I'm just gonna nod. <laughs> you. <laughs> so you just said, just like, mm -hmm, yeah, you mm -hmm. seem like you know what you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Okay. Is like, don't. <laughs> More <laughs> than me. Yeah, I just gotta cut it at this angle in order to make it larger, and then we can adjust it here. And I'm like, okay, yeah. You're an engineer. So <laughs>
so Vicious. So I need this too low, so I'm gonna have to, that's what I was worried about. Okay, well the back also, I thought it would just be baby doll, not that baby doll. Well, let's try with the sleeves, let's see. Cause that just like shortens way too much. It's cute, but not what I wanted. It's too booby. Very Regency. And 
and then sleep on like that, if possible. dress and some jumpsuit. I messed up already. Oh no. <laughs> I messed up already. I made this part too short. I needed oh, to be yeah. a few rooms. Are you building it? Huh? You building it? Yes. Because I need to learn how to do better. Do better. <laughs> I need for posterity to show my growth that I know how to sew eventually. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Just like albums of like you struggling. <laughs> yeah, I mean like having a mental breakdown, being like, I love sewing. <laughs> I love it, I swear. Okay. It's the seam ripping I hate. Like ugh. the struggle of upcycling. So I have to seam rip some more. But that means I get to watch Netflix while I seam rip, so self-sabotage. Maybe I did it on purpose. Who knows? Okay, so I really should fix the lighting. Hopefully that helps, I don't know. Um, but last time we left off, I messed up. So I'm gonna try to not mess up this time. Okay. Get this ready. So. I made it too short last time, so maybe that, that seems like a fair Oops. size, especially when I stretch it though, it will get shorter, so yeah, that'll be okay, so we'll do it that much this time. I went to the DMV today. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I can't complain. They were really nice. And uh, this is like the slowest DMV ever. Like, I'm used to being in the East Bay where, like, you line up at 8 a.m. and, like, pray for the best. <laughs> or, well, some people even line up at, like, 6 a.m. To get, to get seen in there. So... I was in and out of there within an hour and I did a bunch of things, so. And I vlogged a little bit too. Not really, because it's a government building. I think this should be okay. I hope it'll be okay. Pray for me. Okay. Okay. There's needles on this table, so you need to be very careful. Good, good talk. Yeah. 
this much better. Much better. Okay. Just have to trim. I still wish this was a little bit. Well, it fits better. That's all I have to say about that. Cool. So now I just have to trim the excess that's in here because I didn't. I didn't cut it in case I needed to let it out or take it in more, but I think I can cut it now and then I'll zigzag stitch it so that way it doesn't fray because this material is not too bad about fraying, but it still does fray a little bit. Um, hmm. This is a little bumpy here because I left it underneath in case, I don't know, I ever wanted to because um, this is elastic. so. Um, I felt like it needed it just to be a little extra supporty so there's no falling or gapping. But I like it a lot better now because the I kind of need it a little bit more low instead of it going like up. Um, yeah, a lot better. Okay, so now I can trim and then I'll make it into pants because right now it's a dress and I can't move very well in it. Cause it like, it's a triangle. So it stops my legs. So it's cute as a dress. I would make it a baby doll. That would, oh, that would actually be really cute as a baby doll. But I'll make it some, I'll make it a jumpsuit first. And then when I'm bored of that, then I can turn it into a baby doll dress. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Okay, it's been a long day. I've done a lot today, but I had caffeine, so I have enough energy to keep working on this. And this is the back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it pants. So I, it's really long. I'm gonna try it on, try to find the center as much as possible and pin it. I'm probably gonna make them more like parachute pants um, because I don't know, I like that like silhouette from the 90s. Like when I was little, I had a jumpsuit that had a really low like crotch and like, I know, and I could play with it um, or play, <laughs> play in it um, and like have my legs be free and also, um, I don't know, just able to move in it, I guess. Um, also, I don't want to make it up too high because then it like could ride up and have a bunch of other problems. Um, and I want to conserve as much length as possible. So that way, when I get, inevitably get sick of it being a jumpsuit or pantsuit, I can turn it into a skirt or a mini dress or something like that. So that's the plan. And yeah, so I'm gonna try it on inside out, pin it. No one's here, none of my roommates are here to talk this out with, which helps me a lot. So hopefully talking it out to a camera will make it a little easier for me. So I'm gonna try it on, I'm gonna pin it um, inside out with my seam allowance and Hope for the best. <laughs> I'm debating whether I want to put elastic. I don't think I want to put elastic, actually. Hmm. I was thinking about making like genie pants where it was like elastic around the calves, but then that feel like I wouldn't wear it as much because it would be uncomfortable or like dig in. Um, so I think I'll just leave them as like gauchos. My cat's scratching her scratch pad, as she should. Okay. That's all. Toby. Okay. Immediately goes to the carriage. <laughs> like, launch, launch, launch. They're not frozen, but it's still good. Ah! So sorry, phone. Finish you! It was 93 today. Yeah. I feel. It's gross. 
a trip. That, that was just too much. It was disgusting. No one was prepared. No one. And no one on that day was prepared. I can't take it back. Mo, I had you so I wouldn't have a child talk back to me. Okay? <laughs> and now look at where we are. My son is... Really talk in my backyard because the frat guys a few doors down are having a party and it's extremely loud um and there's a lot of screaming going on so final thoughts um definitely somehow messed up on the pants to where like it's a little bit saggy in the bottom and then it like pulls on the front a little bit much um I'm sure I could fix it if I knew how to sew better um but I don't, so um, it, it is what it is. Um, are, is it my favorite thing I've made? No, but I think I will wear it more because I just am more comfortable in pantsuits than in like long dresses, but I'm more comfortable in short dresses than pantsuits. It's a weird hierarchy in my brain uh, for outfits, but also I didn't make it tight enough to make it so I don't have to wear a bra, which is unfortunate. I'll adjust there. So this, I also didn't, I don't think you can see it, but I didn't uh, remove the excess from the sides just because I have commitment issues. I'm scared of like cutting it off and it making the whole thing unravel. Um, I'll eventually do it. I do like how I reattach the sleeves. I like the angle that they're out a lot better. They kind of like the way this is framed. It just, it feels better. It looks better. To me anyway um only thing is is i wish i knew how to do pants better um just cutting it in my brain i thought would work but then i forgot that like even though i don't have a butt i have a little bit of a butt and uh i didn't account for that when i was adjusting for yeah which is something i've done before and i think i will learn my lesson now um, anyway, so 
it's 93 degrees today and um that's a lot for in April and it's supposed to go back down to like the 50s later this week which is going to be interesting um but I mean I guess it's nice for all the kiddos um that are on spring break um I hope you enjoyed the sewing process of up thrifting a uh, hand-me-down that I got oh, I think that's all I wanted to say um easy project for the most part I poked myself a lot doing the hand stitching oh yeah I reattached these by hand sewing um just because uh it's just too much mach machine for me and it, sleeves are hard for me to do on machine because of all the bending and folding and such so I feel like I control it better when I just hand sew it um, and I get to watch TV while I do it because when I'm sewing I can't on my machine I can't let hear anything so when I'm hand sewing I can watch TV and not really pay too much attention but I think it came out okay I like how floppy they are and this is an easy, it's not very comfortable like the way the crotch is, so I'm probably gonna tweak it a little bit, but I just wanted to finish this so I could edit it and get it over with as soon as possible. Um, there's some weird gapping happening, so I'll research how to make pants. Okay, this is probably a long video. I'll try to make it short. Um, probably should have taken a picture outside of this so it could be like the thumbnail. I'm still learning guys. I'm still, anyway, thanks for your time. Okay. Bye. <laughs>